Good morning, welcome to Vlogmas Day 13. And this morning I am just gonna clean. So I have a lot of cleaning I wanna do today. So I just started picking up the kitchen. I did dishes last night so that could be out of the way. I'm sure I'll have to do them again today, but what are those marks on the floor? <gasps> that looks like marker. Oh my gosh. Luckily I have a stain remover. I would like to vacuum today. I would like to get all these clothes put away. I'm just folding some right now. And I would like to clean up my bathroom. Um, what else? What else? I need to clean the countertops and the stove. Yeah, little stuff, little stuff. But just to like get prepared for the week. Monday, I usually like to get a lot of the cleaning out of the way. So that for the week, it's like good. And then I just have to keep it up. All right, y'all, I'm feeling so good today. I've been so productive. The only thing I haven't done yet is vacuum. I put the spot remover on it, so it's like sitting, and I gotta go scrub it. Um, I decided to go ahead and get my shower out of the way, and I really wanna try this uh, Batiste dry shampoo with you guys. I still haven't tried it, so, but yeah. Going good. So you know how my room has been a mess? I had like a pile of clothes in there. Nothing is on the floor. It's clean now. And the last thing I wanna do upstairs is I want to, um, I wanna wash everybody's sheets. So I'm gonna bring them down with me after I'm done here in the bathroom. So it's time to wash everybody's sheets. But yeah, I got both bathrooms clean, girl. Got laundry folded. I cleaned the kitchen counters. Like, got rid of that pile. I'm just feeling so good. It's not very often. Even though I'm a stay-at-home mom and that's what I'm supposed to do, I'm sorry. It's hard. It's really hard to be, like, the cleaner of the house, okay? Like, this is a big house. We have a lot of stuff. And I don't get very many days where I truly feel like, yes, I'm on a roll. Let's keep clean. Let's keep going. I don't have a lot of those days. I wish I did, but I don't like, so today feels really, really good. Um, it, this is so greasy. My hair gets so greasy so quick. No white residue. Okay. Okay. Oh, it smells really good. A lot of you said that you liked this one, the Batiste brand. So this is my first ever time trying Batiste. And then somebody else said they liked the Dove brand one, which I've, I've tried Dove before. I just haven't tried the one with the hint of color. So maybe I'll try that one next. Smile graphic shirt, smiley graphic and black leggings today. Of course, it's a lazy day. So, well, not lazy because I'm cleaning, but it's like a day to not dress cute, so. <laughs> Graphic tee it is. And so I think for the hairstyle of the day, because like I really wanna keep going, like I'm on a roll and I just wanna do as much as I can while I'm feeling like I want to. Because who knows when a day like this is gonna come again, right? So I'm gonna take some of these black clips from Dollar Tree and we're just gonna clip the hair out of our face. I think I'm just gonna twist the front part. This is my go-to with these clips is just like twisting it out of the way. And voila, out of our face, feeling good. I think I like this dry shampoo. I mean, the biggest thing for me was the white residue and I have dark hair, so, so far so good. It smells good. Um, I feel like it really took the greasiness away. It looks like it. Yeah, and um, I like the hint of color, so. I just finished vacuuming. Most of those blue stains came out, thankfully, but 
I just got really bad cramps and I looked at the time and I've been cleaning for three hours. So I'm getting hungry. I'm gonna just go ahead and have my SlimFast shake and watch some TV for a little bit until I have to switch the laundry. I just switched the sheets to the dryer, but I thought it would be fun since I'm cleaning today um, if I did a what's in my bag. Since I've had this for a couple weeks now, it's gotten nice and messy. <laughs> and I feel like what's in my bags are so much more fun when it's messy because then you get to see a bunch of random crap that I have in here. So she's getting pretty heavy. I need to empty some of the stuff out of here. <laughs> so let's do a what's in my bag. Okay, let's get into it. First thing is, oh, let me get in frame here. First thing is a mask. Um, it's very rare that I have to wear a mask, um, but you have to wear it if you go to the doctor's office or into the kid's school. So I just keep it in there. It's clean. I just keep it in there. You never know. Um, my glasses, which I have not been wearing a lot recently. I really only have to wear them at night um, when I'm driving, especially. So yeah, I haven't worn them in a while, but here's the glasses if you haven't seen them. They're by Marie Claire. Um, next thing is gum. And I only have like two pieces left. And this is one of my favorite types of gum because it's like cold when you chew it. So I love that one. I have a little lotion bottle by Bath and Body Works. I actually got this at a hotel um you know like the little toiletries they give you and this is the stress relief eucalyptus spearmint this smells so good so good ah oh, i love it um so yeah i have that for dry hands i also have my sephora charcoal blotting papers which i've had for a while like the sephora part has like completely rubbed off but they are I still have like a lot in here. Um, they are like these gray charcoal blotting sheets because I get oily. I have my new Dossier perfume that I just talked about with you guys the other day. I brought this with me. Oh, it smells so good. My mom really liked it and my husband really likes the scent of this. I did wear both together, but this one's my favorite. So I just brought this one to reapply and yeah, it went over well. So I need to go put that in my beauty room. Um, I also have my wallet, which has all of my cards in it. I'm not going to show you. And then I have a zip pocket with a, a receipt so that needs to get, I need to make a trash pile that needs to get thrown away and I have tons of change in here it's really heavy this is really heavy yeah I got a bunch of change in there no dollar bills or anything I feel like I never have cash on me I have this pair of sunglasses which I recently just got at Walmart and they were on sale for a dollar fifty and here's how they look I really, really like them. Love the shape of them and I love the color of them. So these are my current everyday sunglasses. Uh, then I also brought my Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Powder Foundation. I really do like this powder foundation. If you haven't tried it, it's great if you just wanna use powder foundation instead of liquid, but I also love bringing it with me to go after I have done liquid foundation and powdered and everything. And if I'm going somewhere, I'm gonna be wearing makeup for a long time. Um, I like to use this if some of it wears off on my chin or like my nose or whatever. I will bring this because on the bottom, so it has the foundation and then on the bottom, there's a mirror and then there's the sponge. So it's nice for it to go. So that's why that's my purse. I need to put that back in the beauty room. We need to make a beauty room pile here. Um, then I have, oh, these are the little papers from the drawing that we did for Secret Santa. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I don't think I need these anymore. Yeah, I don't think I need them anymore. So I'm gonna put them in the trash, but those were my Secret Santas. Um, I have a Ghirardelli peppermint bark in here because you never know when you need a sweet um those are my favorite they're so good well 
the one from Dollar Tree is my favorite, but I just love peppermint bark. <laughs> I randomly have this little uh, Bluetooth remote. So if I'm like using my phone um, on a tripod or something, I can use the remote to take pictures. So I also have a mini deodorant, which I just recently bought at Dollar Tree. Secret Outlast. I have my mini wet brush, which is so cute. Oh my gosh, you guys, it has eyelashes in it. Ew, <laughs> they look so crusty. <laughs> so uh, y'all know I just slept over at my mom's house, so I had to take off my lashes there. But anyways, here's my little wet brush that I bought at Kohl's. It's really cute and it's very convenient to have in my purse. I actually do use it. And these are the lashes that I just wore the other day and they're looking messed up i don't know if i could wear them again i think i have a second pair of lashes in here believe it or not um i've got this essence shine 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 lip gloss it is clear but because i've used it over top of nude lipsticks it looks like that but this is like the best clear lip gloss and it's so cheap i think it's like two dollars you can buy it at ulta i really love that one uh i also have the NYX lip liner in natural and I just brought that to touch up for my mom's party. I also brought this lipstick to touch uh, to touch up at the party and this is the LA Colors Matte Lips in the shade Keeper. I showed you guys this in another vlogmas but I've really been loving these shades. They're really good lipsticks. They're not like super pigmented but if you build it up it looks really good. So of course I have my tried and true Carmex because it is dry lip season girl and Carmex is just the best. This is another one of those Secret Santa. Yeah, that's some Secret Santa thing. Um, I have my, ooh, my pocket back from Bath and Body Works in the scent in the stars. So it's hand sanitizer. I've got a little uh, hand wipe. It's like an antibacterial hand wipe that I got from a hotel, but you never know when you need to clean up a mess and hand sanitizer isn't gonna cut it, like if you need to wipe something off. So I keep that in there. My mom just gave this to me. I don't really think I would use it that much, but she gave it to me because she doesn't use it. And she got it in her Ipsy bag. It's a high shine gloss for lips, eyes, and cheeks. So you can basically give yourself like a natural highlight that just looks like your skin, if that makes sense. Literally a clear gel and you can just like put it and it'll give you like a shine. Is it working? Yeah, there's like a little, like a little gliss in there. So I don't know, I feel like I won't really use this, but I'm gonna put it in my beauty room. I don't need it in my purse uh we've got a hair clip i always keep this this one in my purse like you never know when you need to just clip your hair back or something um i always have a pen in my purse um this is a receipt what is this for that is for kohl's oh it's got my kohl's cash on it so i keep that one in here and what is this did I use this already? This is a Walmart gift card. Oh, because I returned something. I'll keep that in there just in case. But yeah, I returned something and they gave me store credit. So I also have these Apex Entertainment 30-minute play cards. Um, one of my mom's friends gave these to me uh, at Thanksgiving. And so the kids can have 30 minutes of free play at Apex if you're in I don't know where else Apex is but I know it's here in Marlboro Massachusetts there's one because we went to it um I've also got my Chanel Chance perfume I should also probably put that in the beauty room and then I've got a second clip oh with an eyelash attached to it those are definitely a goner they're all bended. <laughs> um, this one is from Dollar Tree. 
Um, I should put that upstairs because I have this one. And then I have two hair ties. Never know when you're gonna need to put your hair up or when your daughter is going to need to put her hair up. And then the last thing we have is my like zip pocket inside and it literally just has like an absurd amount of period products in there. Uh, <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. It's, it's a lot. Um, but I always like to have extra period products because like, you never know if like a, a girl that you're a lady that you're hanging out with, uh, needs something and they don't have it. Like, you don't know how many times that I have like been out, whether it was like at a family get together, at a bar, uh, at a store, um, at Starbucks and have needed one and I've literally had to ask a stranger for a pad or a tampon or I've had when I was working at Starbucks somebody asked me for one um so I like to have extra because you never know when a girl's going to need your help so you can give them a tampon or a pad and then yeah and obviously your period can take you su by surprise so always 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 have stuff in the zip pocket like I literally dedicate my zip pocket to period products so I've got four pads one panty liner and I've got five tampons <laughs> and then this is the this is the little like coach authentic authentication I can't say that word correctly but I just keep that in there and oh I totally forgot my jewelry was in here from the last time I slept at my mom's house not yesterday but this is my ring from Ana Luisa. I love this ring. And then these earrings are from Walmart by the brand Time and True. I need to put those back upstairs because those are my favorite holiday jewelry pieces to wear. And that is all we have for, um, oh, I found another tampon. That's all we have in here. So that's what's in my bag. I gotta put on this bag now. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's a lot and I'm just going to go ahead and like put this all back and try to be organized about it and hopefully there won't be as much weight in here because my bag is feeling like really heavy. It's pretty, it's got some weight to it anyways though because I'm pretty sure this is leather because it's coach. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's genuine leather. Um... All right, I'm gonna go ahead and bring all this stuff upstairs so the kitchen can stay nice and clean. Oh my gosh, can I carry all this? All right, it's about one o'clock and I am hungry for lunch. So I'm having an onion bagel with some chive and onion cream cheese. This probably won't be enough to fill me up, so I might also have a yogurt with some granola. Um, yeah, usually just a bagel doesn't fill me, but I'm going to have this for now. Oh, I'm super hungry. That bagel was amazing. I honestly wish I could eat it a second time, but I shouldn't do that. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and have a yogurt because I'm still hungry. Um, I'm on my period, so like when I'm on my period, I crave carbs and I get more hungry than normal. And I think it's really important to listen to your body and let yourself have those days where you eat more than you normally would because we need it. You know what I'm saying? Like we're losing a lot of blood. <laughs> um, so I'm going to have a strawberry banana yogurt. I need to eat this one because it's going to expire sooner than the others. And then I just bought this granola. We just got our grocery pickup yesterday. I think I told you guys already. But this is the bare naked granola with protein. And so I think I need some more protein because that's going to help me feel full. This is honey almond. There's 11 grams of protein per serving, uh, which is half a cup. There's half a cup for a serving. I probably won't use that much, though. i uh, probably use like half a serving. And... For half a serving, there is like 10 carbs. So it's not that bad. I mean, like it definitely could be worse when it comes to granola. All right. I've chilled on the couch for long enough. It's time to go get everybody's sheets on their beds. 
One, two, three. It's burrito night. Okay.